Oh, shall we sing this little line of mine? Mm -hmm. I'm going to sing her so if somebody has a, can start us on the note. This little line, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide in under a bushel, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide in under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide in under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All around the world, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the world, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the world, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Well, one of the advantages of modern technology is that if this telephone has more computing power than the computers that took uh, people to the moon 50 years ago. Uh, amongst the apps I have is a, a Bible app, and I'd like to read a short passage from the Old Testament, from the Hebrew Scriptures, a passage which I'm sure would have been familiar to the people who worshipped here in 1654. And it's uh, from the book of Joshua, chapter 4. And Joshua is leading the Israelite people into the Promised Land. And he, the Lord says to Joshua, Take twelve men from the people from each tribe of man, and command them, Take twelve stones from here out of the midst of the Jordan, from the very place where the priest's feet stood, and carry them over with you, and lay them down in the place where you lodge tonight. Then Joshua called the twelve men from the people of Israel, whom he had appointed, a man from each tribe. And Joshua said to them, Pass on before the ark of the Lord your God in the midst of the Jordan, and take up each of you a stone upon his shoulder, according to the number of the tribes of the people of Israel, that this may be a sign among you, when your children ask you in time to come, what do those stones mean to you? Then you shall tell them that the waters of the Jordan were cut off before the ark of the covenant of the Lord. When it passed over the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off. So these stones shall be to the people of Israel a memorial forever. So I'm thinking of course of these stones, this building, seen the date of 1654 and I think it's a remarkable survival that a building like this uh, has maintained its place here through the centuries and one of the things I was always taught about the Polish Brethren, about the Minor Reformed Church was it was ultimately destroyed in the Counter-Reformation and that is a, a true and sad fact but it's also the case that aspects of that faith survived, travelled to the Netherlands and to England a bit, and to Transylvania, and later still to the United States. And all of us here today wouldn't be here if we didn't share in that legacy, if we didn't feel something of that tradition. And it should be a joy for us to come here and to reacquaint ourselves with that almost lost mystery that we derive from. So we can come here today, we can worship together, and we can give thanks for the people who built this chapel, and for the people who maintain these causes, whose ideas live on into the 21st century. I was here for the first time in 2014. That was our visit 
in July. It was led by both Transylvanian ministers and, and uh, I think lay people as well. And uh, we sung a couple of hymns here in Hungarian language. So I'm not a good singer, but uh, I will sing a Hungarian hymn from our hymnal, which prize the Almighty God. <coughs> Nagy Istenünk, tekints le ránk, hadd meg hívó szavunk. Te benned bíz vagy emek itt, téged magasztalunk. Hitünk halankadózni, <coughs> erőnk a csüggedez. Szent útadat, szent igét, Nekünk mutassa meg. Let's just to keep a moment of silence meditation in the prayer as you wish. Some of our congregations in North America, we have uh, petitionary prayers, prayers of what's on our hearts, and uh, I have a couple of things to lift up, but uh, if you have something to add, I would invite you to do that, and then um, maybe when we close, I, I would assume that the Polish brethren said uh, the prayer that Jesus taught, the, the Lord's Prayer. Is that correct? Um, and uh, do any of our uh, Polish-speaking hosts know the Lord's Prayer by heart? No? Okay. Okay. Um, well, maybe uh, when we close, we could... Uh, Say it in uh, whatever language we we say it in at home. If we if we if that's a practice of ours, and otherwise we can listen to it reverberate as it must have reverberated on these walls back over 400 years ago. Mm -hmm.